Hello, fellow cave dwelling tank building people. Um, it's it's Saturday. Um, and uh, here's your Saturday special. Um, we're gonna function test uh, before we continue with the upper part of the turret. So, as oh man, oh why are you why are you giving me trouble? There we go. Battery compartment open. I'm not gonna put this in because it just disgusts me every time I see a bright green battery through these non photo etch covered grates. Even though the tart hides it a little bit, um, it's something. Then you have a bustle rack and I still want photo etch. I don't care. Okay, we're going to power her on. And let's do this. really nice. I would like the sound. Yeah, she elevates. That's nice. Cool. Oh yeah. Oh, that's good. You really can't. There you go. She's tucked away in there pretty good. Yep, all right, okay. There, and there we go. Oh, I probably, I'll, I'll realign the turret when I'm, when the time comes. So, yep, that all works. Um, so we're good to go to button her up. The turret seems to be pretty roomy, not cramped, like some of the more, uh, modern tanks that to me is put out. Um, talking to you, Abrams and Type 10 and Leopard 2A6 with all of your, all of your electronic brains up in the top. So, I really like the battery door, guys. Really, really like it. I mean, it blends in really well. I mean, there's a minimal gap here. Um, it's gonna, it's gonna come up a treat once we paint the thing. Uh, again... Uh, yeah, so I did add a, a tiny tick extra grease into the uh, turret ball bearing ring assembly area, and as you can see, I mean, she she works she works like a champ, uh, nice and smooth. Stupid driver's hatch, stay closed. Um, yeah, she's she's cool. We might want to do something to slow the roll in this driver's hatch. I'm not sure, guys. I don't know why they didn't include like a little uh, poly cap or something. It just seems kind of like. I don't know. It's just a little thing. I mean, listen, we can get any Tamiya tank kit. There'll be something to pick apart. So, overall, thank you, Tamiya. I love you for making more of these tanks. I mean, really, just just keep them coming. I know you don't sell a ton of them. It's like it's like Toyota making the Land Cruiser. This is the Land Cruiser of RC. And, and not everyone's going to buy it. Not everyone wants to blow that wad of dough on something. But for the people that do buy the Land Cruiser, they just walk into the Toyota dealership, and they're just like, I'll take a Land Cruiser. And they're like, yes, sir. All right, we'll get that paperwork going. They don't. There's no haggling. There's no negotiation. You don't, you don't have people pounding down the doors on July 4th, holiday weekend, for the Land Cruiser 30% off sale. No. They know, what they're, they know what they have. They know what they charge. They don't care. And I'm just happy that they're making them. So, to me, a heartfelt thank you. And I really do want my photo etch, so I might be kissing a little butt here. Um, but yeah, so uh, we got the upper turret here, and uh, she's she's nice. I like her. Um, use my fancy Tamiya side cutters here to uh, free her from her tree jail. And there we go. Um, so just done. We don't need any more of this. Goodbye. Okay, so she... Shira, how do you... How do you... Oh, you, you really... Okay, you nestle in there pretty good. So... Alright. Um... I probably gotta trim some... Yeah, I got some plastic here. This... Yeah. Uh... There's no... Little marks that... Yeah, I gotta clear off. A little, little more sprue. A little more sprue. A little too much sprue. 
Okay, we're going to sand that remaining area. And she will tuck in under the mantlet. And uh, good, good gaps all around. Nice, nice and tight. Looking good. Um, there's a lot of stowage that goes on this upper turret. So I'm going to do, like I said, you know, I, I like to paint things in stages and follow. Damn, she's cute. This is an adorable little vehicle here. I'm quite, I'm, I'm, I'm quite enamored. Look at that. Bristling with, uh, with smoke grenade dischargers. These things are, these are cool. I like it. It's, it's pretty, it's, it's like a, like a crown of thorns right on the front of this sucker. All right, well, <clears throat> I'm going to get, get to work on, uh, on some of this little bits. Uh, it's all ammo boxes and cheese, Louise. All right. Well, I will see if I can put them. I'm going to build them and I'll, I'll just prop them up for, for now and then we'll peel them back off when the time comes to paint this whole thing. But, uh, yeah, enjoy ep uh, part six, which is, this, that's what the, that's what this is. This is part six. I can count. Um, yes, I can count. All right, be right back. All right, guys, uh, we got some done here. We got a little bits, a few things. Uh, this little guy is kind of tricky. Um, the posts don't want to go all the way in, um, when this is shut. So I'd suggest putting it in, holding it shut, and gluing these guys in from back here, and then just gingerly, you know, moving it back and forth, make sure it, it, it sticks good. Uh, we got a little guy glued on here. We have to drill a crap ton of these holes out. Uh, it looks like two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve... 14, 16, 18, 20, 24, 20, 20, 20, 20, yeah, yeah, a couple dozen, a couple dozen uh, holes we got to drill, I got my stowage built, five of them are the same, two of them are unique, uh, and there's only one jerry can, I mean, I like jerry cans, I don't know about you guys, I love me a nice jerry can, uh, but hey, they gave us one, uh, there are a few extra ammo boxes on some of the sprues, um, you know, you can get creative, we could always drill some more holes in the tank, I don't know, um, so yeah, I'm going to get drilling. Uh, the underside, we have three metal donuts there that get screwed down. And a little platform here for either your battle system connector or probably just for the uh, the little man to sit in. Our little uh, little tank commander that runs the uh, 50 cal. He's going to go right here. Um, so yeah, she's, she's coming along nice. You know, I've never had to drill this many holes in a kit before. I know some of them require it. Um, I think... The Russian JS2 and maybe a couple others, you know, you got to drill quite a few holes. So it is what it is. I'm going to get that done. Um, get, quit my flabbering, and I'll be back and show you something cool, hopefully. All right. <clears throat> All right, so the dentist was in. We drilled a bunch of holes. Um, here is all the stowage on that side. None of this is glued on, so I mean, really, uh, uh, there it goes. Um, but I'm going to hand, I got to hand paint all the little straps on these guys. I mean, we all, we have to have our standards now, people. Um, so we're going to put them all there. And then, got a lot of, a lot of plastic debris floating around here from all the drilling and the snipping. Um, and, uh, oh, Commander's Cupola with the big doors. That's going to be that. And, uh... Yeah, that'll be... Oh, i got to build another box. I thought I built all the ammo boxes. Why don't they just tell you all at the beginning to build all the ammo boxes? Um, yeah, Commander's Cupola. So I pre-painted um, yeah, the, the window section uh, of drab. And uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to glue all the windows in, uh, liquid mask them, build this whole cupola up, uh, get that installed. Uh, a couple little bits and pieces, and then the the searchlight looks friggin' awesome. I've always I've always wanted a an armored vehicle with a searchlight on it. You know, a little boy's dreams finally fulfilled. Daddy, just get me a little tank with a searchlight. That's all I need. Yeah, good luck with that. I didn't get a Power Wheels uh, when I was a kid. First of all, I would have gotten Power Wheels jacked in the Bronx. Uh, you know, I, I got scooter jacked. Uh, my bicycle was stolen. My GoBots were stolen. I mean, what kind of animal steals GoBots? A kid that can't, couldn't afford the Transformers. I got GoBots. You know, 
anyone who knows what those are, yeah, it's like the second class transforming robotic toy. Uh, they stole my GoBots. So if I had one of those nifty battery powered, you know, power power wheel doohickeys, yeah, forget it. I would have gotten I would have gotten stuck up by an armed eleven year old, and uh, they would have driven off very slowly while I sat there and cried. Uh, searchlight LED and blah blah blah. I'm gonna cover up the standard LED wiring for the searchlight. I'm gonna see if I can uh, take the connector off of that LED's. Uh, cable and slip some heat shrink tubing over this, some like high flex sh shrink tube, because I doubt there was a red and a black wire going to the searchlight out of a giant hole in the top of the turret back in Vietnam, but hey, who knows? Uh, maybe maybe that was the case. And then we have machine gun, and then we have the driver's figure, and some random little bits and pieces, and uh, that'll be it for the build. Uh, after that, it's going to be all uh, all up to me painting things. So that should be, that should be pretty, uh, pretty interesting. But I mean, we'll get the build done, and you'll see the tank. Uh, you're gonna, you're gonna see basically 99% completed tank by the end of this uh, video, guys. So let me get to work. All right, guys. Um, other than uh, the stowage, which you know, we'll add that on when we're done. Uh, she's, she's basically done. She's pretty cool. Um, she she does all the things she's supposed to do. I didn't I didn't glue down this searchlight um, yet, just just in case. But uh, yeah, we got the that guy there. Got those. Turret moves nice and quick. I mean, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta paint those taillights still. And the headlights have all that, uh... Ugh. Liquid mask. But, uh... Yeah, she's pretty nice. Yep, she's pretty cool. I like it. I like it a lot. I think it's cool. That's why I like building these things. So, uh, I did uh, manage to get a little shrink, shrink uh, heat shrink tubing over the uh, over this guy. So, nice, simple, smooth black cable now instead of a black and red double cable. And uh, that'll get painted, I guess, with the tank-ish. Um, commander's hatch is, uh, you know what, let me get this thing mobile, and we'll do a full aerial. Be right back. Okay, guys, so we are, uh, free to move about the cabin. All right. There we go. Uh, that gap, I still don't love it, but here she goes. A lot of holes to drill. And, uh, that's kind of a big hole. I'm not sure if there's something to kind of fill that with-ish, but I don't like that. I mean, the guys in Vietnam wouldn't like that. I mean, it rains a lot there. Um, searchlight is, that's ah, just cool. That's the coolest thing in the tank, uh, most likely. And we got that guy there. She's looking pretty sweet. I'm going to put liquid mask on all the cupola windows. I gave them a paint. Um, with Periscope, Periscope Blue, this is just a temporary 50 cal I had from, uh, another kit didn't feel like building it, but yeah, she's pretty, pretty damn cool, um, so that's that for now, um, once I have something better to post as far as the tank being painted, it should be a pretty easy paint job, I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shadow coat it, and, uh, highlight coat and just olive drab everywhere once that's done paint the stowage glue that all on and uh... build build our little man to put in there with the machine gun 
But uh, yeah, she's a she's a sweet little girl. <laughs> Painting all the rubber tires. Um, but yeah, all right. Uh, I think that wraps it up for part six. Uh, I'm not the best painter, and I don't pretend to be. So I'm just gonna start part seven, I guess, with the thing painted and. Just, I'm going to just stage by stage. I, I don't know. Everyone's watched those painting videos. I'll just paint the damn thing. Um, and then I'll, that'll be part seven. That'll be the end of the series. Um, and then I do have more projects in the pipeline. And then I have old projects to review after that because I never did build videos on them. I have some projects I'm going to be upgrading. And uh, you'll get a look at some of my older Tamiya tanks that I built years ago. But either way, that's it. Signing off, guys.